It's time for the Peter Chill Afternoon News for the Sunday afternoon, December 21st, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. I'm your 1230 News at 9. Here and I'm Tuscaway 1230 here is... Investigators believe the gunman who ambushed and barely shot two New York City police to pop it off. Because it was Saturday and Brooklyn boasted on social media that he's going to put his wings on Big Day before the killing. President Obama should already be responded to North Korea's cyber attacks and 30 pictures and said about it to respond. Representative Mike Rogers, chairman of the House Private Select Committee Intelligence said on Sunday. A Florida officer stationed in Tarbot Springs was shot and killed Sunday overnight as a suspect is in custody after he crashed his vehicle to the ball when he fled to the crab sea. In accordance with Sierra Leone, the rapid response that has arrived at a chaos is easy, but medics at a remote Sierra Leone district are struggling to control a local Ebola epic when it's too late to dip it in the mud. So nice, they tied a knot twice as Sir Elton John and David Fenrich has married for the second time in a private ceremony in the winter estate in Berkshire in England. Courageous of 40 days say that Perchberger forces have been taking control of the larger of the wrecky town of Sinjar from Islamic State militants. Washington, President Barack Obama said it's fine to know more relations with Cuba gives the U.S. a chance to influence events at an important moment of change for the communist nation that he brought off critics who accuse him of not contrarian. Pep Stanley secured for convicted militants on death row on Sunday as a prime minister. Now as Sherry sought to show that he was getting a tough interior after Talbot Milton slaughtered more than 130 children at school last week. The tsunami that swept away his wife and two of his children came without warning from museum employee Ekram Bim Mtiab. A decade later, he says he's better prepared if he happens again. In Tunis, Tunisians have voted Sunday in the runoff of the country's first free and democratic presidential election and drawn an end the often turbulent transition in period since the popular uprising in 2011. Islamic State extremists in Syria have executed some one in the foreign volunteers who have tried to lead the city of Wakbar, the hardline group of de facto capital. Britain's Financial Times reported on Saturday. In Louisville, Kentucky, less than five years after an explosion fueled by the excess coal dust killed 29 men deep inside of West Virginia underground mine, the nature's coal mines are on pace for an all time loan work related deaths. The winter solstice begins at 6.03 Sunday night. It will be the shortest, darkest day of the year in the northern hemisphere it occurs when the sun is directly over the Tropic of Capricorn. When the film portrait of Armaya as a law clown, Al Qaeda expert is after her career features a series of blunders and accusations of misleading Congress. There are a lot of people who don't get all the Christmas shopping done in time, and retail shows know that. To help those last minute shop as many retail stores are extending their store hours in the days before Christmas. In New York, less than a week before Christmas, off the supplies retail staples warned that cyber criminals sold personal data for 1.2 million customer credit cards. Abu Dhabi, OPEC Secretary General Abdullah al Barri told Reuters on Sunday that he hoped to see a recovery in the price on the euro by the end of the second half of 2015. In Genk, Belgium, in the heart of Western Europe, the Belgian Dutch German has Rust Belt has been down the number of two car plants closed this month as companies sought cheaper labor elsewhere than the final chapter of the manufacturing boom. In Google Cardboard, the text chance low cost virtual reality headset that's literally made of cardboard and works of the phones is now compatible with Street View. Amazon rolls out a massive update with Fire Phone with its updates to Fire Fire and the smartphone's camera headline in the package. The third and final Hobbit film came out swinging victorious at the the Battle of the Five Armies easily strode to the top of the weekend box office in its opening weekend with $56.2 million. Amy Adams hosted last night Saturday Night Live, but the big guy star wasn't a man that trucked into this North Korea heavy holiday episode. Lance Basson, Michael Churchin of Fisher Mariners, Churchin and former NSYNC member tied the not Saturday night at the Park Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles Court in it. E. e. Dr. Evil is a bumbling wannabe supervillain, but even thinks that North Korea is following that this whole evil do a business as former Saturday Night Live star Mike Myers returned to the show this weekend in the character of Allison Powers, Bad Guy. The fascinating thermal pools of Yellowstone National Park went all the way as close to the way that they are, and they cut the way essentially for pollution. Recently, NASA has released a video of its new crew-rated spaceship Orion. The video demonstrates Orion's blistering re-entry at this environment in the Earth at velocities about 32,187 kilometers an hour. The deep in the ocean tends to venture the fewer life forms that you encounter. When you get a few miles down, the pressure is so intense, it would kill all but the most perfectly adopted animals. At this time of this year, with Christmas around the corner, there are champagne sales booming up everywhere as everyone wants to celebrate with a glass or two maybe more champagne. Conjoined twins, Natalie and Adeline Mata, who were born in Texas back in for sure, and a number of bottle organs are now one step closer towards a normal childhood. 
What do the real world doctors have to say about the events that spent on a doctor all showed less than one third of the can be backed up by even modest medical evidence? Take a look at New England insulars here at twelve thirty five here. Lowell, Massachusetts, more vehicle accident on the VFW Highway at Bridge Street. A two vehicle crash with confirmed injuries. No traveling ill. Men's life support men were requested. Take a look at Fox News here in Lowell, Kentucky. Fox and great Muhammad Ali was hospitalized with a mild case of pneumonia, then was caught early and should result in a short hospital stay, a spokesman from Mr. Ali said Saturday night. All the top drivers had problems with it. Head strong, Red John Rundle, the former Celtics coach, only had a good work relationship with just traded guard. Defense lineman Chris Kenty Ankle of the Baltimore Ravens listed as a question for his after the game as Kenty had not been able to practice all week as the Baltimore Ravens take on the Houston Texans here. And tonight, the Celtics will be at Miami taking on Miami Heat. Bruins will be at the Garden of Tampa Bay Sabres tonight at the Garden at 7 o'clock. And the New England Patriots will get underway at 1 o'clock against the New York Jets down the middle end. Peter Chell News on 1236. It's time now for a little weather. Fritz, time now for a little travel report here. And Route 6 on the westbound side. It's back to beer. Route 6 is back to beer. From Route 130 in Sandridge all the way down to the Sagamore Bridge. Sandridge Road is on slow on both ends from Route 6 down for 20 in the morning. Route 6. On the westbound side, a little so from between the one all the way down to Route 25, and one bridge on the southbound side is slow. Route 20 on the northbound side is backed up around the Bourne Rotary, and one bridge rotary is a little slow here. So expect the delays in that area. Road work on Route 6 and Sandwich here, and road close on Route 6 on the westbound side around Route 3 and Sagamore. So expect the delays in that area around Bourne and Sagamore here. And we got an accident on the Tipple Hill Tunnel here. On the step on side, but it's that is cut up as you have a smooth sand community there on this Sunday afternoon here and Route 1 both ends around Animal Square Mall exit. It's very, very slow around Animal Square Mall as it's the Sunday before Christmas as many people are doing their holiday shopping here and Route 9 and eastbound around the frame and Natick section is a little slow, so it's, so it's good to go here. And Route 37 and Northbound Time, near the South Shore Pods and Branch, we expect a little delays here. And expect some to be busy around the shopping mall areas as people begin, people do their last minute Christmas shopping on the Sunday before Christmas here. Peter Jell News on 1237, 10 for a little weather report here. Th this afternoon, scattered snow showers, class clouds with a high around 36 degrees, no one about 6 miles by chest plate patients, 40%. Total daytime is 30 kilometers or less than 1 inch possible. Thank a chance of snow showers mainly before 1 a.m. Most guys got a low on 30 degrees. Slight knock wind and a chance of preparation 30% little no circulation expected. For Monday, a slight chance of snow showers before 10 a.m. and a slight chance of rain and snow showers between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Then a slight chance of rain showers after 11 a.m. Most guys got a high on 41 degrees, not for about 3 to 5 miles per chest plate to 20 percent. By that, slight chance of showers, guys got a low about 36 degrees, no peace for about 3 to 5 miles per chest plate to 20 percent. For Tuesday, chance of showers, like food, with a class guy have a 47 low about 44 degrees with rain likely in Tuesday night in the east with about 6 to 8 miles per chance of station is ranging as low as 30% to as high as 60% by when Day's gonna raise to 90% with some rainy skies on Christmas Eve on Wednesday. How about fitted on low about 56 degrees? By Christmas Day, rain like most sky to podcast sky about 58, low about 32 degrees, chance of elevation is 6%. And for Friday, most of the sky about 46, low about 32 degrees with most of the standing podcast skies on Friday. And for Saturday, puts the sky about 47 degrees. Not temperature standing at 34 degrees, light snow, fog mist, and one above Celsius here. And that's great for the Peter Channel Afternoon News on the December 21st, 2014, on a Sunday afternoon. Peter Wings, everyone. Good day, and I'll see you for an e report. Have a good day!